Good morning po! Kamusta? Today is uh, Saturday and would like to thank everyone for, for joining us. This is the second Traders Fair here in the country. And can I have my presentation? May I know here who... Sino na yung mga nagtitrade? Sino na yung mga nagtitrade? Kamusta yung account nyo? Alam mo, I had a training last week. A client told me, I, I normally ask, why are you interested in Forex? Someone says, marami na po kasi akong naririnig na maganda. Sabi ko, yung mga pangit ba, hindi mo pa naririnig? Diba? The other one says, may mga pangarap din siya sa buhay. Sabi ko, marami na rin hong pangarap dito ang nawala. Right? A little bit about me. Hi. In 2018, uh, my name is Larry Collin. I'm the... Uh, we had the very first, I was the very first trading guru in the country. And also the Forex Trading Philippines, my team was the best media for traders in the Philippines. So I believe they are also running another one for 2019, if you can vote for us. Again, we will be giving away a lot in ticket later. A quick reminder, so Forex Trading, walang power power, walang recruitment, walang payout, at walang guaranteed returns. Are we clear? Unfortunately, to name the few, ang dam, especially in Davao area, there were there was a team that's using our company, our team's name, and meron pa kayo tatlong tinitingnan kami. 1,000 pesos initial investment, 750 weekly, mag-invite ka ng tatlo. That's how they do it in Davao, in, in Mindanao, in Agusan. Unfortunately, we can't reach that area. So if you guys can... You know, can share this na hindi kailangan ng recruitment sa Forex. Forex is a business and should be handed as one. When we say business, for example, you have a 30 million pesos. You wanted to franchise Jollibee or McDonald. You can't just simply go to Jollibee or McDonald and knock their doors that you wanted one of their franchises or one of their branch, right? You need three to six months of franchise study here and abroad to learn more about their business. Similar to Forex trading. You are not going to learn everything today. There will be a continuous study. Next, it is not a one-time good reach program. If you are looking to double your money immediately, this business is absolutely not for you. For example, on Facebook, if you wanted to double your money, fold it twice. Diba? You bet that if you're going to fold it twice, again, 40. Earnings are not, again, hindi ko kailangan mag-invite ng tao dito. I don't understand kung paano i-explain na tataas yung dollar kasi may lima kang in-invite. Walang ganun. Okay? Big income at the very, very high risk. I met a client earlier. We have a booth doon sa loob. He made $100 last night. And I, may, I met someone who lost 300 also last night. Diba? It's a, uh, you can double your money, you can triple your money in a matter of hours or weeks, but you can also lose everything in a matter of seconds. And a business that can never be old. If you're going to take a photo, please use our hashtag forex 30 ph Thank you. A little bit about me, my name is Larry Collin. I started Forex Trading Philippines five years ago, mainly as a community of traders. So aside from trading, I do, I am an executive virtual assistant. I work for the founder and CEOs of top 5,000 corporations in the US, Canada, and Australia. I do also real estate in Canada, in Vancouver, uh, in New York, also in California. Too much for me. What is Forex? What is the very first thing that goes to your mind when you hear the word Forex? Anyone? Tamang sabi ni Sir Kanila, mahiyain tayo. Whenever I ask questions, I give away two cinema tickets of, 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 I gave away Avengers, eh. Of, what's the, what's the movie? Aladdin. On any cinema that you want, anytime, anywhere. Sabe, for now is for extra income. Puede? Puede, power. Forex trading is basically the buying and selling of currencies online. If you're going to Google the term, and dami yang ibig sabihin. But it's basically the buying and selling of currencies online. For example, the US dollar, the Japanese yen, the Singapore dollar, and Philippine peso. Are you all familiar with those currencies? Especially the last one. <laughs> Pag dikilala yung Philippine peso, ewang ko na lang. And Forex is the world's largest financial market. Yes, we are the world's largest financial market. 
I'm sorry, this is not updated. It's six trillion dollar daily turnover. We're talking about trillion dollar turnover. As you'll notice, the London is only 7.2 billion. Tokyo is 18.9. NYSE is 22.4 billion dollars. Cryptocurrency is somewhere in between 19 to 21. But Forex market is six trillion dollar. This is not daily, I'm sorry, this is not weekly, this is not quarterly. This is the daily turnover, every day. At later, the ano natin, ha? Huh? Paano naging pinakamalaki? Ngayon lang namin narinig yan. In 2008, we had some financial crisis. As you'll notice, the yellow figure, the housing market drops. The stock market drops as well. But the forex market continues going up. But here's a good thing. It doesn't matter where the market is going. In forex trading, we can make profits on both movements. When the market goes up, we buy. When the market goes down, we sell. So we don't care where the market is going, traders could make money on both movements. And one reason why, trade, why a lot of people are getting into Forex trading is simply it's open 24 hours a day, five days a week. Today's what? Saturday, right? What time is it? 11 something. The market is open or close? Close. The market is going to open again on Monday, 5 a.m. Philippine time. Alas 5 ho sa ng madaling araw sa Pilipinas is 7 or 8 ng umaga sa Australia. So Australian market is open. Pagdating ng sa atin ng 7 a.m., that's Philippine time, alas 8 sa Japan. Japanese yen is open. Pagdating sa atin ng between 2 to 3 p.m., European market is open. We have Swiss franc, we have euro and we have pound. Pagdating sa atin ng 8 p.m., that's 8 a.m. in the U.S. and Canada. So we traders tend to trade between 3 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's where the volatility is. And of course, if you are working in the morning, later, daan na natin yun. Mag-slide yun. So, what are the currencies traded in the market? May nagtanong kanina dun, sir. Sabi 24 hours a day daw, ano yung parang pwedeng i-trade? Not all the currencies that you, that you know in the world could be traded. May tinatawag lang tayong majors. First, we have the US dollar. What's the next one? We have the euro, the Japanese yen, Australian dollar, British pound, Swiss franc, and Canadian dollar. These are what we call seven major currencies. Silang pito muna ang isipin nyo. Huwag mo muna isipin yung iba, right? The seven currencies are called major, the rest are minor. Here's the thing. According to the International Standard Organization, tatlong letra daw ho, yung, yung, there's only three letters, yung symbol, ng currencies sa buong mundo. Ang first two letters, name of the country, ang pangatlo, name ng currency nila. What do I mean? Una, SGD. SG, name of the country, that's what? Country. Singapore. Tapos yung pangatlo, yun daw yung pera nila. That's dollar. The next one, Malaysian, Dingit. And the third one, pag minagkamali pa dito, ewan ko lang. That's Philippine Peso. And of course, the next one is US Dollar and Japanese. Tatlong letra lang yan para hindi kayo nalilito. Even though we're talking about billions or millions or trillions of dollar, it will never be USDS. It will only always be USD. Tatlo lang sila. First two letters, name ng country, yung pakatlo, currency. Ngayon, ito na. But this rule does not apply to currencies such as EUR and CHF. Bakit? Who can give me the answer? Except those who attended my trainings already. Nasa likod kayo. Why is it that the AUR and CHF does not follow the IS rule? Sabi, three letters. Name ng country yung dalawa, pangatlo, currency. Bakit yung EUR pati CHF didn't follow? Aladdin ticket, ayaw nyo? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. What about CHF? I don't. Is a ticket lang yun, sir? I can give you both. I need both answer. See that? I'm giving away. A, I'm giving away ticket, ah. Yes. Okay. But Swiss franc. Tapos. What's the explanation? Eh, tag isa kayo ticket. Ano na kayo sa bay? All right. EUR is not a country, but it's a continent. Tama? 
composed of numbers of countries, yun yung gamit nilang currency. Ang CHF stands for Confederatio Helvetica Franc. Ito po ang pera sa Switzerland or Swiss franc. They have a history. Sino nakapanood ng Leonardo DiCaprio, The Wall for the Wall Street? You guys need to watch that. Not exotic part, ha? Alam mo yung mag, mag end na yung movie, yung nahuhuli na sila ng FBI, they put money on their body, tapos papunta sila airport, they're flying to where? To Switzerland. And according to our history, billions of pesos or billions of dollars of marquises are here. Because it is a very independent country. Na hindi siya napapasok ng, ng I, I believe, international monetary uh, policies nila. Right? Next, who are the traders? What makes the Forex market the world's largest financial market? Sino yung mga nasa likod nun? Una, central banks. What is the central bank of the Philippines? Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Who is the current governor? Yun lang. Nasa 20, tingin kayo. It's... Diok no, right? What is the central bank of the U.S.? Federal? Reserve. What is the Turtle Bank of London? Bank of England. What is the Turtle Bank of Australia? Reserve Bank of Australia. Here's my very first assignment to all of you. If you are interested and if you will be joining us in the Forex market, get yourself familiar of all the central banks of those seven major currencies. Pito lang yon. Alam niyo kung ano yung mga central banks nila and who are the people behind it. Who is the current chairman of Federal Reserve? It's Jerome Powell, right? Kapit bahay namin yan dati, nag-migrate lang sila. Ano bang ginagawa ng Central Bank? Sila yung may handle ng monetary policy sa bansa. When the Central Bank governor or chairman speaks, the market listen. Kapag sinabi ni Jerome Powell that the U.S. government is doing good, the U.S. dollar is getting stronger, 15 to 20 minutes after his speech, you will see that the U.S. dollar suddenly surge. Right? Next. Commercial banks. This portion is not sponsored by PNB. Sila lang kasi may sa Google. Have you been to the banks? Sino na nakapunta ng banko? <laughs> right. If you go to the bank, have you noticed na may buying and selling sila? Buying is 51, selling is 52. Ah, uh, nat natanong yun, bakit ganun? Ba't magkaiba yung number? Can I take off this? Ang init eh. Na natanong mo sila, bakit magkaiba yung number? Okay, so for example, I have a dollar. I go to the bank. As usual, si BDO, haba ng pila, apat yung counter, dalawang available, nagkwekwentuhan. Okay, sorry if you're working with BDO, ha? Okay, so buying ni BDO, 51, selling nila 52. I go to the bank, dala-dala ko yung one dollar ko, puto ako kay Ate Teller. Ate, I'd like my, uh, gusto ko siyang pagpalit. Binigyan ako ni Ate ng 51 pesos. Bago ko malis, I decided I want my dollar back. Bumalik ako kay Ate Teller, sabi ko, Ate, bilhin ko ulit yung dollar ko. Sabi ni Ate, Sir, we're selling it for 52. Ha? Huh? You bought it 51 from me? You're selling it now for 52? That one peso difference is what we call spread. Spread is the difference between the buying and selling price. Doon kumikita si banko. Of course, on the daily business, hindi lang piso yung kinikita nila. It's billions and billions of pesos every single day. Clear? So ngayon, pag pumunta kayo ng banko, nakita niyo yung buying and selling, ah, oh, alam na namin yan, laki ng spread niya. Next, importers and exporters. Who's using an iPhone? 10X Max. Max, X, wala na bang Max Max? Right? We all know that iPhone is not made in the US. Right? It's a symbol din in China. So from Chinese Yuan, dadalhin sa US, magiging US dollar. Pagdating sa US, if finalize na yun doon, sasabihin nila, iPhone XXX Max Max is worth $1,000. Pagdating sa Pilipinas, they cannot sell it in dollar. Pagpapalit tayo. Gagawin? Philippine Peso. Export naman, alam nyo ba na 95% ng saging sa Japan ay galing sa Pilipinas? Kasi malalaki daw ang saging ng Pinoy. Are we aware of that? Kunti lang tumawa doon. Alright. So, of course, pag nilabas natin yung saging natin, hindi siya pwede ibenta sa Japan ng Philippine Peso magpapalitan tayo. And, right? Next is, hedge funds, they're the large fund managers and business travelers and tourists. Sino na ako nakapag-travel? Raise your hand. Sino na, tapos hindi, nakapag-travel pero hindi na pinapabalik. 
Yung binal ng immigration? Wala. <laughs> okay, buti naman. We travelers, we Filipinos, for example, the very basic, we go to Hong Kong, Singapore, right? Or Malaysia, Thailand. When we go to Hong Kong, we couldn't use our Philippine peso. Right? Dito pa lang, or pagdating mo doon, magpapalit ka na Hong Kong dollar, in, ah, sorry, Philippine peso to Hong Kong dollar. Pag tumawid ka sa Macau, may sarili sila, Macau Copa, or Kappa, right? Pero tinatanggap yung Hong Kong dollar sa, ano, sa Macau. Next, individual speculators. Dito tayo, traders pumapasok, right? Yung mukha mo, hindi naman magiging ganyan. Pero that's the reason why we conduct the trainings para maiwasan natin yung ganyang facial expression. Are we clear? So, as you'll notice, these six factors, sila ang nasa likod ng forex market. Sila ang dahilan kung bakit the forex is the world's largest financial market. It only means to say that we are all participating in the market. Did you guys get here by car? By grab? By angkas? By... Yun lang. Ano pa ba? May lang ng Uber, di ba? By taxi? Or by jeep? By bus? You are already participating in the market. Yung gas na ginamit doon is not from the Philippines. It's six... Eh, ano pa ang hatian natin? Yung sa gas, di ba? So, it's galing din siya sa ibang bansa. When you send a text right now, when you use the internet, right? Hindi siya lahat. So, it means to say, we are all participating in the market. Kahit yung mga nasa laylayan. Di ba? Dilawan. Next! How are the currencies priced? Sir, bakit bumagsak ang Australian dollar ngayong linggo? Kaha, na last week pa. Bakit bumabawi yung pound? Sabi lang, mag-resign daw si, si Ate Teresa. One reason kung bakit umaakyat bumababa ang mga currencies, political events. What happened to the United States November 2016? November 2016, US, there is a presidential election and it was Hillary Clinton that won, right? Wala nag <laughs> Okay, so political events are uh, 2017, April and May. What happened to France? Diba may presidential election din, si Macron yung nanalo. Kung din yung kilala si Macron, siya yung presidente ngayon ng France na yung asawa niya, teacher niya nung high school. Ah, pag, si, pag chismisan, alam niyo, diba? Ah, <laughs> siya pala yun, yan. Political events, isa yan sa binabantayan namin mga traders. Economic events, I believe na-discuss kanina ni, ni Jonathan. Jonathan and I started in the same broker way back six or seven years ago. So he was my technical trainer way back. Economic events, uh, gross domestic product, retail sales, employment rates, unemployment rates, lahat yun binabantayan namin, tinitingnan namin. Interest rates, global trade, pati inflation. What is inflation? Anyone? I can show you the world. <laughs> inflation, ito yung? Yes. Yun nga, yung sinabi ni Sir. <laughs> well, basically, kapag mata... What's the current inflation in the country? It's 3%. Kapag bumababa ba yung inflation ng isang bansa, is it good or bad? Is it good or bad? Good pag bumababa yung inflation. Okay? What are the advantages of forex trading? Bakit tayo magpo-forex? Hindi lang tayo manahimik kasi sarap na patulog ngayon. Sabado, eh, no? Unang-una... Hindi po kasi tayo nagbabayad ng tax. Huwag kayong maingay masyado. Kapag nag-trade ka ng forex, kaya galit yung gobyerno sa atin, kasi hindi tayo nagbabayad ng tax. Ang mga traders were making hundreds of thousands of dollars, or maybe thousands of pesos daily or monthly. Hindi tayo nagbabayad ng tax. Huwag kayong maingay. Sarap din yung pinto. Baka may makarinig. So, if you are trading in the forex market, there's no commissions, no clearing fees, no government fees. No middleman, it's you in the market. No fixed lot size. Sino nag-stocks dito? Stocks. The Philippine Stock Exchange. Sa stocks, I started when I was 18 years old. How can I prove it? I bought Jollibee at 90 pesos per share. Jollibee is now 200 what? 260? 250? Right? I had a chance to bought it at 90 pesos. Tapos, board lot. Ang board lot, you can purchase Jollibee by one piece chicken, two piece chicken, walang ganun. Buy 10 si Jollibee. 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on and so forth. So Forex, 
Pwede ka mag-trade 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 1 dollar, 2 dollars, 5 dollars, 10 dollars, 20 dollars, and so on and so forth. Wala siyang fixed lot size. Small transaction costs, so let's pay the bid and ask price, ano natin? So per your liquidity, unfortunately today's weekend, uh, when you trade, for example, you see the market's going up, you click buy. When the market's going down, you click sell. Dalawang pindot lang yun. So stock market, if you think that the market will go down, you need to click sell. And you need to wait for someone to buy your shares on the price that you want. Dito wala ka na, it's just a matter of seconds, click buy, click sell, ganun lang siya kadali. 24-hour market, as I mentioned earlier, it's open 24 hours a day, 5 days a week. Online access, you can trade from your phone, from your laptop, from your desktop. Profit from bull or bear market. Have you heard about the bull or the bear market? The bullish or the bearish? Nakikita nyo to, hindi masyadong ano eh. Nasa babay, mahayop na yun, anong doon? Hayop na yun. Who here had been unfortunately attacked by a bull? Wala pa naman. Wala tayong bull eh. We have Carabao. Right? Ang English pala ng Carabao, water buffalo. Di ba? Ang arte. So how the Carabao or the bull attack? Pataas. The market is going up. The bear, pag umatake yan, so nakita mo yung bear, tatayo yan, it will attack you down. So the market is going down. Right? Kaya hindi nila ginamit yung cut and dog kasi magugulo ka doon. Right? <laughs> Alam mo lang saan ginamit ko yun, isa lang yung tumawa. Buti yung tatlo kayo. <laughs> Nabilang ko yun. So the bull, when you say bull, the market goes up. When you say bear, the market goes down. You just have to remember how these animals attack. Next, no one can corner the market simply because it's a trillion dollar business. We are all participating in the market. Hindi pwedeng sabihin ni Duterte, puta ka na, walang magtitrade sa Pilipinas. Diba? Sorry for the word. <laughs> Hindi niya kayang gawin yun. And limited government regulation. Let me just clarify this. There is no regulatory body in the country that regulates the Forex market. There were some already that claimed, but they were able, uh, there was already one which I know. Itago natin siya sa pangalang Metis E-Trade. And they were raided by the NBI three or four years ago. I already spoke to the director at napakaryabang pa ng director nila na sabi, We are the only forex broker in the country regulated by the Banco Central. Hanap ako ng Banco Central, wala naman nakalagay doon ah. Di ba? There is no regulatory body that regulates the forex market in the market. Yes sir? Good question. Bakit? Wala pang gumagawa. Walang mambabatas na gusto na mag-forex. Right? Kaya i-boto nyo ako sa darating na election. Na joke lang. <laughs> right? Yes, ibang country. Next, stocks versus forex. So stocks, we trade the value of the company, tawag natin doon shares. So forex, the country's economy, tawag natin doon currency. So stocks open during local office hour. I believe nag open dito 9.30 to 12, 1.30 to 3.30, tama? Correct me if I'm wrong. Forex, 24 hours a day, 5 days a week. Kung nagtatrabaho ka 8 to 5, syempre na traffic ka pa, chika pa kayo nakasama mo, may make up ka pa, palis ka mga 5.30. Darating ka sa bahay yung mga 7 to 8 kasi na traffic ka 2 to 3 hours, kahit dyan lang naman sa kanto bahay mo, may traffic talaga yan. Pagdating mo sa bahay mo, imbis na manood tayo ng kardo, mag-trade na lang tayo, di ba? Si kardo, di pa mapapatay yan. Balita ko, 2025 pa daw. Sa so stocks, can only make profits when the pricing market so forex, when the market goes up, we buy. When the market goes down, we sell. So forex, I'm sorry. So forex, when uh, traders, when the market goes up, we buy. When the market goes down, we sell. So stocks, when the market goes up, they buy. When the market goes down, they pray. Yun yung gawain ng mga stock traders, di ba? May kita mo yan, nagdadasal na yan sila. Kapag member ka sa Facebook ng mga stock market group, ang ingay kapag may bumagsak, for example, bumagsak yung Ano yung telecom, yung bago? Yung now. Pag bumagsak yung now, ang ingay agad sa Facebook. Yung may ingay, tandaan nyo sila yung mga 200 pe, 200. Ah, mga ano lang yan, mga 10,000, 20,000 yung nilagay. Yung mga nalulugi ng milyon, nagdadasal yun doon. Right? That's what they do. So Forex, bala kayo dyan. When the market goes up, buy kami. Pag baba yan, sell kami. Stocks, exchange can manipulate the market movement. I need to be very quick. So Forex, several factors. Sabi ko nga, uh, it could be the economic, it could be the political, it could be uh, the interest rates. So stocks, you need to buy 
when you decide to sell or vice versa sa forex to click trading. When I started when I was 18, ang una kong stocks na binili is Jollibee at 90 pesos per share. I had no knowledge when it comes to technical and fundamental. Isa lang ho ang pinagahawakan ko way back time. Hanggat may bata sa Pilipinas, mabubuhay ang Jollibee. Kasi una pang nababanggit ng bata ang Jollibee kisa sa mami. Right? Yung paniniwala ko na yon hanggang ngayon naniniwala pa din ako, ang Jollibee kumakalat, ang dami ng branches, right? So it's now 260, 250. Yeah. Seven major currency pairs. When you are trading the forex market, may tinatawag tayong major currency pairs. Ito lang yung itipin mo muna. Ito lang yung tingnan nyo. Euro USD, Pound USD, USD Swiss Franc, USD Japanese Yen, USD CAD, New Zealand USD, AUD USD. Let me show you the platform. Okay, you guys can see this in the side. This is what we call the market watch. With us, you can trade currencies like and commodities like silver and gold. The market is one. We have Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. Pag nag-trade ka, sir, bumagsak na yung kokwa. Ang pakialam mo sa kokwa, dollar yung trade natin. Diba? Babagsak na yung, yung soybean. Hindi ka naman bibili ng taho. Diba? Ang pakialam natin yung major currency pairs. Let me go back to my presentation. Lang muna, itong pito lang muna yung isipin mo. For example, you will be trading in the stock market. Am I going to BDO ba if I'd like to go to banks? Am I going to BBI na laging offline? Or am I going to security bank? Magandang servisyo, walang pila sa negosyo. Correct? You're in a good hand. Tama ba, security bank? Okay. Pips. If there's one term that you will always hear when you, when you, when you will be a trading, the trader, it will be the pips. Pips is what gives you money in your pocket. Pips stands for, ilang minutes na lang ako? 1 hour and 15 pa? 20 minutes. 20. Sige ate, bigyan kita ng ticket mamaya ng ano, gawin mo 30 yan. Okay, pips stands for price interest points. It is the smallest price movement. Ganito. 1 US dollar, di ba kung makukuryente na ito? 1 US dollar is close to 108.33 Japanese yen. From 33, umakyat siya ng 34. Ilang pips yon? One. From 32, umakyat naging 34. Ilang pips yun? Two. Yung last decimal point lang. Right? Let me show you how it works. Okay. One hour chart, Euro USD. July 27, three years ago, ata tong chart ko. This thing is what we call candlestick or a Japanese candlestick. Kapag sinabing one hour chart, each candle represents one hour. Okay. Kapag ito alas gis, 10, 11, 12, so ala una na yun, alas 2, alas 3, and so on, and so forth. Ang gagawin natin ngayon, since we, we see the market is going down, magsisell tayo. Ang presyo, 1.2366. Clinose natin siya sa 1.2243. Magkano kinita mo? 123 pips. Saan nakuha yung 123? Ang 12366. Subtract mo sa 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, yung difference nila is 123 pips. 20 hours. Bakit umabot ko ng 20 hours? Kasi mula dito, hanggang doon, hindi mo close yung trade mo. Pero if ever, na doon ka nag-send, tapos dito sa pinaka-lowest point na to, dito mo close, so ilan lang yan? 1, 2, 3, after 3 hours. Kung ano lang yung difference na nun. So magkano kinita mo? 123 pips times 10 US dollar, you've made 1,000 $230 in less than one day. Is that possible? Yes. Is it guaranteed? No. Is it risky? Very. Right? What if nakasell ka, biglang bumulosok pataas? Right? So, this 10 US dollar is the value of PIP. That's the lot size that I was talking about earlier. For example, 123 PIPs, ginamit mo 10 cents. Imultiply niya lang yan, 123 times 10 cents is... $12.30. Tama ba, mat ko? Right? Okay. For buying naman, 5-minute chart. Kapag sinabi natin 5-minute chart, each candle 5 minutes. Kung ito ay 10, 10.05, 10.10, 10.15, what's the next 15? 20. Di ba? So, 10.20. So, ginawa natin, nag-buy tayo. 1.2260 yung presyo. Clinose natin sa 1.2274. Diba, clinic ka dito ng buy, pagdating mo doon, kumita ka na, clinose mo naman. Magkano kinita mo? 
14 pits. Ano kuya yung 14? 20 to 60, subtracted 20 to 74, 14. 50 minutes, less than 1 hour. Magkano kinita mo? $140. Is that guaranteed? No. Is it possible? Yes. Is it risky? Very. Right? Questions on this one? Wala. Next. In trading, jargon lang. When you say long, it means buy. When you say short, it means sell. Okay. Here's a good example of a, a, a theory. The British pound tumbles against the US dollar and euro after the Bank of England. Mark Carney said, now is not the right time to raise UK's interest rates. Sabi ng Bank of England governor nila, hindi pa kami magtataas ng interest rates. 15 minutes, pag ito siya magsalita, bumagsak si pound. That's what I was telling earlier. When the central bank governor or chairman speaks, the market listen. Sino dito may Twitter? Ayun. Pag wala, gumawa kayo ng Twitter. Isa lang yung follow nyo. Alam mo kasi no? Si Donald Trump, siya mahilig mag-tweet. When Donald Trump tweet, the market listen. Sometimes last year, Donald Trump tweeted, sinabi niyang si Raulo ito si, ano eh, si Jerome Powell kasi nagtaas na naman ng interest rates. He tweeted that Friday, nagtuloy-tuloy talaga yung US dollar bumagsak because of that tweet. Right? So si Donald Trump, follow niyo siya. When you are trading, ilang minutes na lang te, asa niya siya, tenang tenang yung ticket mo ah. Okay, when you are trading, daging tatlong, ano yan, tatlong points. The first one, entry point, doon ka pumasok. Second, may tinatawag tayo yung TP or take profit tsaka stop loss. Have you heard about them? Okay. Daan na lang natin. Alright. For example, when the market goes up, we what? We buy. So now, ang ginawa mo, I just put numbers ha, para mas naintindihan sa explanation. From 30 pesos, sabi ko, bibili ako sa 30 pesos, target ko 70. Pero kapag nawala ang internet ko or makatulog ako or bigla po bagsak yung market, Hanggang dito lang yung lugi ko. Okay? So, sinet up natin. TP na doon. SL dito. So, mga 120. Makyat. 130. Kumita ka na. Pagdating ng 140, biglang bumagsak yung market. Biglang bumagsak yung presyo. Ang, ang kagandahan ho, kapag may stop loss ang TP kayo, it doesn't matter suddenly kapag magtuloy-tuloy yan bumagsak sa baba, wala ka nang pakalam doon. Nilagay mo yung stop loss mo dito, ito lang yung lugi mo. Pwede mo siyang i-control. Gusto kong kumita ng $10 ngayon, malulugi lang ako ng 2 Right? If ever na bumaliktad yung market. So, and the same thing, magtuloy-tuloy man siya umangat, wala ka na rin pakilam doon kasi it automatic niyang ikakat yan para sure, sigurado sa grado na yung kita mo. You get the point? So, if the market moves against you, bugla siya bumalaksa, bumagsak, may stop loss tayo. By the word itself, it will automatically stop your losses from getting out of hand. Ang TP, kapag magtuloy-tuloy din siya umakyat, ikakat niya na yan para yung kita mo sigurado nandito. Pag selling, don't get confused. Baliktad kasi sa selling. When we click sell, are we expecting the market to go up or down? Down. Kaya yung target mo nasa baba. Sabi mo, magsisell ako from 70 pesos at target ko 20. Pero pag umakyat yan, bumaliktad, umakyat bigla, hanggang dun lang yung lugi ko. Ayan. Pag nagtuloy-tuloy man siya, 110, 111, 120, kahit pa yan pumunta doon, okay lang. Kasi maka-stop loss ka na. Bakit kailangan ng stop loss? Kasi a uh, stop loss will cut your losses if suddenly the books against you. Huwag lang naging ganyan. ba? Pag wala kang stop loss, pag nagtuloy-tuloy yan, baka pati yung meso mo masira. Right? Asa yung tubig ko? Next, return of investment. Laging tanong sa akin, sir, buka madali lang naman pala yan. Paano ho ba kitaan dyan? Sabi ko, depende. Pag may kamag-anak ka na magbukas ng account, sa right side dati nilalagay yun. <laughs> Walang gano'n. Sir, so return on investment, laging, and, uh, laging tanong, Sir, magkano kitaan? Diba? Yung laging tanong, magkano ba kikitain ko dyan? Let me give you an example. Walang exact figure. Si Sir nag-open ng $1,000, nag-trade once a week. Si Sir nag-open, si Ma'am na lang, pang magkaiba. Si Ma'am nag-open ng $200, araw-araw nag-trade. Sino sa tingin nyo ang kikita? Si $1,000 na once a week nagtitrade or si $200 na daily? Sino? Si daily. Depende. Kasi baka si daily ang gamit niya 10 cents. Si sir naman ay $10 yung gamit niya. Isang trade niya lang, baka bawi niya agad yung one week na ito. Did you get the point? So when we talk about return of investment, wala siya exact figure. Right? Wala siya exact. Wala akong maibigay. Pero for the sake of example, how much are you looking for? And a month. 
For example, you'll be opening $200 percentage-wise. 10, 5%, 10% a month. Oh, kasi yun yung example ko eh. Investment mo, $200. Target mo, 10% a month. Okay. Ang gagawin natin, himayin natin. Kasi pag sabi 10% a month, parang ang lucky naman nun. Himayin natin. 200 times 10%, $20 a month. Tama? $20, i-divide natin sa apat na linggo, $5 a week. $5 a week, i-divide natin sa limang araw, $1 a day. Limang araw ho yan, ha? Ang gagawin mo na lang, trade ka lang, $1 a day. May sulatan ba to? For example, pumila ka sa bus, pagising mo, kumita ka. Ayaw niya magpasulat. For example, on $1 a day, sir, ang liit naman yan, 50 pesos, baka bigyan kita ng 50 pesos. Mind you, $1 a day, that's 10% a month, is equals to 120% a year. Banks will give you 0.25 to 0.50 per annum, less than 1%, while you're making 120. Stock market range from 7 to 8%, mutual fund from 8 to 10%, bonds from 7 to 8% a year. The forex could make you 120% a year. Is that possible? Yes. I know a lot of people who ask. For example, one dollar a day target. Nagising ka, nagtrade ka, kumita ka ng 10 cents. Close mo agad. Nasa jeep ka, kumita ka naman ng 20 cents. Pagdating mo sa office, wifi agad, kumita ka ng 50 cents. Maya-maya, nag-lunch kayo, kumita ka ng 5 cents. Pag uwi mo, nakapila ka sa van, kumita ka ng 10 cents. That small gains at the end of the day, you will be making one to two dollars still. Right? Pwede na, kulang pa. Of course, maliit kasi you started with small. Pero kung gusto mo ng malaki, you start with $1,000, target mo 20%, himay-himayin din natin. Right? What's my next? May tip lang ako dito. Limang araw sa isang linggo, nagtitrade ka daily. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. May tip lang kami. For example, nagtrade ka Monday, nagtrade ka Tuesday, nagtrade ka Thursday, Wednesday. Pag Wednesday pa lang, na-hit mo na yung target mo, Huwag ka na mag-trade on Thursday, Friday. Alam mo kung bakit? May tendency malulugi mo yung kinuha mo nung Friday to Friday, Monday to Thursday, up to Wednesday. Kasi kapag nag-negative ka lang on Thursday, alam mo gagawin mo? Babawi ka kagad. That's what we call revenge trading. ba? Walang matutulog, hindi mo na ako uwi. Natalo na ako, sayang kasi kung batang ko kasi. Diba? Maninisi ka na, mainit na yung ulo mo bigla. ba? Kasi kanina ka pa inutusan eh. Wala namang... Wala naman pakialam yung market doon sa utos mo dahil sa mainit na yung ulo mo, right? Ang gagawin mo, tatasan mo na yung lock size mo, dodoblehin o titriplehin mo. Kasi sabi mo, isang titik lang na ito, bawi agad yun. Unfortunately, maling mindset yon. Next! Trading psychology. Ilang minutes na lang yan, te? May bit-bit ka eh. Wala pa? 10 po. 10. Sige, abuntin natin ng 15. Trading psychology. There are only three reasons why Filipinos get scammed. Alam niyo ba kung bakit? Tatlo lang. Who can give you the top three reasons? I'll give you three tickets to Aven Avengers tuloy. Wala na Avengers eh. Uh, Aladdin, top three reasons why Filipinos get scammed. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Pwede na. Alam mo yung mag-adobo tayo, tapos nilagyan mo ng sabaw. <laughs> Yan. May, nandun na, nandun yung sense. Okay, give me. Yes, ma'am. Okay, lazy, greedy, greedy. miseducated. Are you, ex are, are you trying to, ano, to the, the whole Filipino nation? <laughs> okay, hindi naman. Okay. <laughs> Nandun na, may idea na doon. Oh, one more. Wala na sir, nakuha niyo na. Alam niyo na yun eh. Okay, give me. Top three reasons why Filipinos get scammed. Tatlo lang yun, huwag yun ang dagdagan. Since early 90s, billions of pesos has been scammed. Until now. At the age of technology, at the age of Google, di ba? Who can give me? Wala, ayaw nyo? Ayaw nyo lang. I can see a hand at the back. Alright. Anyway, top three reasons why Filipinos can. The very first one is greed. Hindi ho mawawala sa atin yun. Pag sinabi, Mare, may pera ka ba dyan? To double end down yung pare next week. Oh, di ba? Meron lang yan ako dito. Unfortunately, dahil nahirin sa hirap ng buhay, hindi natin masisisi yung mga kababayan natin. Una, ay pangalawa, lack of financial education. It is very unfortunate that financial education, basic personal finance, 
basic taxation, basic investment is not part of our curriculum. It is already part in the U.S. There's already a state na grade uh, elementary level, basic taxation, basic investment, how to work their money for us. Uh, for, yeah, yun yung meron na sila. Sa atin dito, wala, right? So, unfortunately, I have been speaking in front in universities, colleges for the last three years. I've been invited up to north. I've been to, I've been to Isabella. Hanggang doon, we talk to universities and we teach, the, we teach them how to invest their money. Pangatlo, alam niyo yung pangatlo? Filipinos are too emotional. Masyado natin ginagamit yung puso natin. For example, sa Facebook, pag naglabas ka sabi, nasa bahay ka lang ba? Gusto mong kumita? Wala ka bang ginagawa? <laughs> like and share lang, <laughs> di ba? 1,000 weekly, right? Sabi, wala nga akong ginagawa eh. Paano kaya to? Another example, in marketing, we have what we could sell the dream. If you are going to attend uh, networking, uh, networking talks, I'm not against networking, uh, I do networking. I, I, I'm part of USANA, I, I, I use their product. So networking, sasabihin nila, ang next speaker natin ngayon, milyonaryo na. May tatlong sasakyan, wala namang parking. Dating OFW, high school grad lang, di ba? Ikaw naman, nandiyan ka, sakto. Yun yung kailangan ko, ano daw gagawin? mag invite lang ng lima sa kanan, lima sa kaliwa, right? So, tatlo. So, tapos magtutok yung networker, sasabihin niya, I had this, I had that already for the last three years. So, it will, it will, uh, it will attack your emotion. So tatlo lang, three reasons why Filipinos get scammed. Greed, lack of financial education, we are too emotional. Parehas din kasi sa trading yan. Greed, unang-una, overtrading. Sir, pag nag-start ka ng $200, $0.10, cents, $0.20, cents, $0.50, cents, pwede nyo na muna. Alam mo yung first starting, for example, first week mo, ganyan. Second week, lakihan mo na, $1, $2 na. Alam mo, kapag gamay mo na yung merkado, mas madali kasing magpataas kaysa magsimula ka sa mataas pababa. For, tapos, kapag after 3 weeks, gamay mo na yung merkado, doon ka na magkuklose sa mga 3 to 5 dollars. Well, huh? Unfortunately, ginawa mo, hindi sir, gusto mong kumita ng 10 dollars agad ngayon, di ba? Sa, ka sa kagustuhan mong kumita agad at dumoble yung pera, yun na nangyari. Three sports of gambling. Sino nagtutongits dito? Nagtutongits ako. So, what happened is, sa probinsya namin, yung tatongits yung tatay ko, uh, kapag nagtutongit siya, alas yung ito na papauwi namin. Sabi ko, pauwi na, hinanap ko na mama, sasabihin niya, mamaya na, nung gina nga ako eh, babawiin ko muna. Right? That's what we call revenge trading. And always, uh, ang, ang lagi kong tinuturo sa mga traders, kapag negative ka ngayon, try again later. Kapag negative ka later, try again tomorrow. Kapag siguro mga 2 to 3 days ka na lang po ako negative, try to close your laptop and try to analyze what happened. Tapos, since we have a community of traders, dapat lagi kang right med. Huwag mahihiyang magtanong. Diba? You can always talk to us. Next! Fear. Dahil tinatot kita, wala naman palang nakikita niya, lagi lugi. Hindi ka natuloy ng trades. Or early closure. Ang sinasabi na early closure, yung mga ganito daw. Sabi ko, okay lang to for starting. Diba? Huwag naman yung after 3 months, nagkita tayo, Sir, kamo sa trades? Ito, 10 cents pa din. Diba? Kailangan may progress. Next! Hope, umasa ka, early entry, adjusting stop loss. Ang stop loss, it will cut your losses when the market moves against you. Buy. Ano nasa taas? SLTP. TP. Tapos na? Five, Five minutes. Ilang ticket kailangan mo para maging tanyan? SL. Ang ginagawa ng mga traders, the market ganito kasi yan akyat. Kapag nag-buy ka, walang merkadong ganun agad. Ang gagawin muna yan, ah, akyat pa baba, baba ba konti, di ba? Pag tinina mo yung trend, pataas pa din. Pero yung stop loss mo kasi, kapag masyadong malapit, pwedeng mahit. Sa, sa, sa platform, nagpupula yan. Ang ginagawa ng mga traders, di ba, dito ka, SL. Inagpula, minubo konti. Inagpula ulit, minubo ulit konti. Kabumubo, kasi yung stop loss tipi, guhit lang ho yan. Para lang siya guhit na yung mumubo by mouse. So market ganon, bumagsak, minove mo. Kamumove mo na kamumove, instead na negative $2 ka lang, ngayon sa layo ng kamumove mo, negative $10 ka tuloy. Did you get the point? Here's the perfect way, busin natin to. For example, buying. Wala na siyang sulat. Kasi 150 slides yan eh. SL, TP. Kapag umaakyat yung merkado, ang gawin mo, yung stop loss mo, ilagay mo sa taas. Para kapag mahit niya yung TP mo, kita ka. Bumaliktad yan, stop loss kita mo, kasi na-secured mo itong space na to. Did you get the point? That's how you use. On our training, we will give you a good uh, a formula kung ano yung tamang, uh, tamang pips, number of pips sa TP 
what's the exact number ng stop loss? Kasi yung stop loss mo, hindi dapat masyadong malapit na kunting hinga lang ng market, hit agad. Or yung TP mo, hindi dapat masyadong malayo na kahit bukas hindi niya tuputahan yan. We are using a formula for that one. Next, of course, opportunity loss is better than capital loss. So what we do and what we offer, bebenta ko kayo ngayon. Straightforward, no? So this is the platform we're using, the platform, uh, MetaTrader 4, dito sa area, this is what we call Market Watch. Dito sa Market Watch, nandun lahat ng, tra uh, ng, ng products na gusto mong i-trade. We have cryptocurrencies, we have Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, we had, uh, we, had, uh, we had gold, we have oil, lahat na. Dito sa navigator, dito ka maglalagay, maglalagout. Dito sa terminal section, dito mo makikita yung trades mo. Nakabay, nakasell, anong stop loss mo, TP mo, nandun din yung kita mo sa dulo. That's in the terminal section. Dito, this is what we call the chart window. This is where the magic happens. Diba? This is where your analysis is. You can customize the color. Yan. Kung ikaw ay emo, black and white, ganun. Tapos kung ikaw ay dilawan, pwede rin dilaw. <laughs> diba? So, you can customize the color. What you need during the training, we want you to bring your laptop, either Windows or Mac. Please don't bring desktop to office. Ang tipong, okay, let's start. Sir, wait lang. Bakit po? Yung CPU ko nasa lobby pa. <laughs> right? Cell phones or tablets, you can start with your phone. Pen and paper, of course, for making your trading plan. Why trade with us? If you're going to trade with us, we have an account manager, support, and assistance. We have our office, penthouse, 8th floor, Makati Stock Exchange building, clock in, hanapin mo ako doon. Wala ako doon. <laughs> okay, our lock is office support. Anong ginagawa namin? Pag may problema ka sa account, di ka makapag-log in, di ka makapag-log out. Paano gamitin yung MT4, di ba? Pa paano mag-withdraw, paano mag-deposit. Lahat yun pwede namin sagutin. Pero kapag may problema ka sa pag-ibig, may problema ka sa kapitbahay, sa pamilya, sa pera, wag mo kami problemahin. Wag, wag mo na kami isama. Advanced technical and fundamental trainings. One-on-one -on -one training is required. Kung, kung hindi ka makapunta sa schedule, pwede ka mag-request. Local banks are accepted. Zero fees and withdrawals, deposit, free demo account. Yung demo account po, <clears throat> libre yun. So, pwede ka mag-trade doon nang wala kang ilalabas ni singkong duling. Wala naman talagang duling yun eh. So, unfortunately, pwede ka mag-trade uh, mag ang to a uh, $1 million. Ang problema lang dito, kapag kumita yun, huwag mo kaming singilin. Kasi demo account yun. May kliyente kasi, Sir, baka pwede kahit 1% lang. <laughs> right? How much? How much are we offering? Our trainings are divided into four different levels. You just graduated on the level one. This is the introduction. The level two is the elementary level. We will teach you how to trade and we will teach you how to use the platform. On the level three, we will have that advanced technical and fundamental on level 4. Apat ho kasi yung analysis. Una, technical. When we say technical, we trade with the chart. Diba? Nakita yung chart kanina. When we say fundamental, we're a fundamentalist, we trade with the news. Economic events, diba? Ano mga balita yung kailangan? The third one, hybrid trading. It's a combination ng technical and fundamental. Alam yung pa-apat, Alma Moreno, yung hula-hula lang, makita mo, aakyat to. Eh, umakyat nga, kita ka dun. Bababa to, bumaba nga, di ba? Pwede ka kasi hula-hula analysis. So our trainings are divided into four levels. At then, and we've been conducting trainings all over the country for the last three years. Ayan, nakita nyo, uh, walang, wala naka-desktop dyan, ha? lahat yung laptop. So what we're offering is not 50,000, it's not 20, it's not 10. How much? It's not even five. It's absolutely free. We do not charge you anything. No monthly subscriptions, no payment. Wala kang dadalhin. Magdala kang pamasahe. Baka naman wala kang pamasahe papunta office. <laughs> Dalhin nyo lang kung pamasahe nyo. Wala kayong babayaran doon. So, Forex Trading Philippines with Axie Trader. We've been conducting trainings all over the country, uh, nationwide. And as I mentioned earlier, what we do is we, we have a community of traders. Pag sinabi community, kasi huwag pa nagtitrade ka. Pag nagtitrade ka, mga 2 to 3 weeks, okay pa yan. Katagalan yan, parang, tama pa ba itong pinagagawa ko sa buhay ko? Di ba? Tatanungin mo na minsan sarili mo, lahat nalang negative, lahat nalang pangit yung nangyayari. That's the reason why we built the Viber Group. As proud to say, I'll show you the Viber later, we are 280 or almost 300 actively trading. I can see people from the back. So ang ginagawa namin, wala ho kaming signal. Ang binibigay namin, trade recommendation. For example, buy ng Euro Pound, bibigyan namin yan. Kung nakikita nyo, you can now close your Pound USD trade. Ayan, may mga kumita. Nagbibigay kami ng trade recommendation, hindi signal. For example, nag-analyze ako, ay, aakyat si Pound. Send ko ngayon sa Viber. Para kapag nalugi ako, lahat tayo. Diba? Damay-damay. Ah, ako lang nagsisa, diba? Tapos kapag kumita, mas maganda, lahat tayo. Right? Think positive. The broker that I'm handling is Axie Trader. 
Uh, we are registered, authorized, regulated, not one, not two, but four regulatory body. We are ASEC by Australia. We're also registered in FCA in the UK by Dubai and FMA. We are working in Cyprus right now for CSEC. We are five. Uh, more, going to be five regulatory body. Asset Trader have offices in Australia, London, Dubai, Riyadh, Moldova, Shanghai, Singapore, and of course, Philippines, diba? So account opening some withdrawals to open your live account, just simply go to bit.ly slash live account PH. To open your demo account, just bit.ly slash demo account PH. Take a photo of this one. Isama nyo ko. <laughs> okay. So, you can start trading in four simple steps. Una, mag-register ka. Anong kailangan na requirements? One valid government ID lang. Passport, driver's license, basta government ID. Pag, unfortunately, kapag nag, pag ginamit mo yung bagong passport, permahan nyo yung second page para maging valid. Pag nag-picture ho kayo, ayusin nyo ho, huwag nyo na hawakan. Ganito, sabi namin, ma'am, kailangan po yung passport nyo para malinaw. Alam mo sila ni client, sana wala sa dito. Yung passport talaga, sabi ko, ma'am, anong gagawin namin dyan? Di ba? Pag sinabi yung passport, yung nasa loob, yung tulad kanina, in, wag mo yung takip, ha? <laughs> Kaya, okay, for deposit, paano mag-deposit? Any visa, any card, visa, basta may visa, master card, logo, credit card, or debit card, either peso or dollar account. Pwedeng bank transfer, kahit anong banko, except the BPI debit master maroon. Yung maroon nila na debit, from EPS to debit, ba, hindi pa sila tumatagap ng online transactions doon, okay? Pag withdraw naman, baka naman matagal yung withdraw dyan. Hindi, lo, yun yung local banks. For example, si sir, nag-deposit credit card. Ngayon, nagsara yung credit card niya, hindi niya binayaran. May kahit anong banko, basta nakapangalan sa'yo. Okay? Huwag naman yung bank of Sugigaray. Yung mga local bank natin dito na kilala natin. Ayan. Requirements, one valid government ID, deposit, either Visa, MasterCard, credit card, or debit card. Bank transfer, pwede. Withdrawal, kahit anong banko. Ayan. Baka naman hindi kami nakakapag-pay out dyan. That's the term, di ba? Okay, ganito. Join our training. Open an account. Fund it. There are two, almost 300 people in Viber. Send them a message one by one if we scam any of them. Open an account. $200 is the minimum. Withdraw it the next day. Kung hindi, kung wala kang natutunan sa training ko. Whatever the bank charges. For example, nag-deposit ka $200. Binalik sa back $150 na lang. Ah, well, I am... Ibabalik ko yung $50 sa'yo para sakto kung magkano't sinadya. That's how uh, confident I am that 99.9% .9 of our traders are learning from us. Ang pag-trade is not about knowledge, it's about emotion. Okay? Kasi kung about knowledge, dami ng matatalino. Ang emotion ang mahirap. Control it. Tips lang. Two minutes. Uh, don't forget stop loss. Using the stop loss will prevent your losses from getting out of hand when the market moves against you. Plan ahead. Kailangan may plano ka sa buhay. Hindi pwede pag nakita, pag bukas mo na laptop mo, uy, umaangat si, si dollar ha. Bye ka agad. Hindi pwede. Kailangan alam mo, you should know why, why dollar suddenly rise or suddenly fall. Trading bonus, get 20% additional for every $200 deposit and above. And I'm giving away, uh, open a $200 account until next week, May 30. And get two cinema tickets on any cinema that you want. Kahit saan cinema. Basta may online booking ha. Kasi nag-online booking kami. So, I haven't watched it yet. Sabi may mamamatay daw. Hindi sa Avengers yun. <laughs> okay. So, what's next? We're going to have a level 2 training with live trading workshop on May 30. What's, that was Thursday? May 30 from 12.30 to 5 p.m. And it's 100% free. Wala kang babayaran. Ano requirements? Una. Open an account and fund it. Pangalawa, dala ka ng pagkain sa office. Yun lang ko yung kailangan namin. For example, di ka available sa May 30, sir, kasi may pasok ako eh. Sa June 1 pa ako available. Pwede naman. Tapos, for example, ang pasok mo 8 to 5, 6 ka pa darating sa office, sabi ko. Ma'am, pwede naman. Kaya lang pag mga 6 kasi medyo gutom na kami. Pag may dala kang pagkain, pwede tayo mag-trade. Kung gano'ng kadami yung pagkain na dala mo, gano'n karaming strategy ang ituturo namin sa'yo. Kapag naubos agad yun, for example, pick up, pick up, naubos agad yun, ititigil agad natin yung training. Ganun. So, our trainings are divided into four levels again. Introduction is this one. Elementary level, platform navigation, so turuan namin kayo paano gumamit ng MT4, paano mag-trade, paano mag-buy and sell, not yun. Tapos may auto chartist kami. Level 3, advanced technical and advanced fundamental. If you will be joining us on May 30, we have a level 2 agad, oh sorry, level 3 agad on June 5 or 6, kung alin yung holiday doon, at saka on June 12. And I have my information, you can contact me, 0915 327 
Uh, email us at support at forwardstudyingph.com. Follow us on social media. And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you so much. Can I have a selfie with you? A selfie nga kami. This selfie is brought to you by Vivo V9. <laughs> Baka may binabeta sa inyong ano, Huawei ah. Binibili ko na yan. Ayan. Matataba ko doon. Dapat payat ako sa Vivo ah. Say power! <laughs> Alright, so let me know if you have questions. We have a booth inside. We are between RPN and Itorba, your green one. We're in front of ADFX. I'll be there until 5 p.m. And if you have question, sino yung bibigyan ko ng ticket ng Avenge ng ano? Sino yung mga tatlo na lang na sumagot? You, you, and sino yung isa kanina doon? All right, so kayo tatlo na lang na nag-participate. Approach me at the booth. I'll give you two tickets to, 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 to Aladdin. Thank you.